Hello everybody, how are you doing? We Paddy from Across the Shock. And this is the third and final part of my wee series of three interactive um, questions. Thank you so much to everybody who's taken part. The response has been brilliant and I hope it continues in this one and it'll give me a... I think you're going to find it interesting, the results. I have collated the first one and done it. The second one I haven't done yet, but I will do this week. And this one, hopefully, I'll get done at the weekend and get the, the results down. And hopefully, by the beginning of next week, I'll do a video on all three and give you the breakdown of what I found out and how interesting it was to me. And I hope it will be interesting for you too. So, here we go. There's only one question, and all I want is the number. Now, you can go on and give me, you, you know, what you think your budget would be. You can talk as much as you like in the comments. But as long as you put the number down, it means when I'm collating, I can just go straight and see what number it is. And then I can go back and read comments afterwards. So, that being said, here we go. The first category, this is the, what this is, is the, the price that you're willing to pay for a knife that you want. Now, this is not, this is maybe, you know... If, I'm trying to put this the right way. This is, I've them noted here from budget right up to very expensive. Where I lie, if I explain to you where I lie, then it would mean I have a very expensive knife at the high end, right? But I don't think I'll ever pay that again. I got a wee inheritance last year and that's where I bought that from. This is where I lie. Now, bear in mind, I'm a knife collector and a reviewer. So this is where I lie. I will pay... 250 to 350 I think that's probably the most or somewhere close to it that I will pay again for a knife and I would have to save to get that that's not money I've land in the bank to go and get it to get that knife I would have to save I have you know I don't have the spare cash goes into the channel or whatever so I would have to save to get that knife and I want a small Chris Reeve and it's around that price I'm going to have to pay for a small Chris Reeve so that's my my limit is now, I don't believe I'll go above 350 or not much. So my answer would be five. So I'm going to start from this end. And this is uh, the budget end. And this is not this is not a check on your finances because I know plenty of people who have plenty of money, but they'll not spend any more than £30 in the knife. And that's fine. This is not a, I'm not doing a, a health check in your bank account. It's just as a knife person, what you're willing to pay. And it also gives me an idea of what people will watch. So there's a, you know, to me, this is beneficial for my channel. So the first one, number one, is not to 30, which is your Ganzos, your cheaper range knives. That's it. The second one is 30 to 70, which is going to include your rats and your different, your Civivis and things like that, if you're in that bracket. And that's the most expensive knife that you think you'll ever buy. The third one is 70 to 150. I personally think this is where most people are going to be um, because there's an awful lot of people will, you know, to get them over the 100 mark is hard enough. And I can accept that. It's only the fact that this is my hobby and I, that I pay more than that. And number four is 150 to 250. And this is where I believe is the, the higher end knives are coming into. So we're getting, you know, people who who collect quite seriously from here on upwards. This is expensive, but this is the serious collectors. And it'll be interesting to see how many that are on the channel and what they want to see as well. Number five is 250 to 350, which is where I'm going to put my answer is because that's honest. This was a treat that a one off treat. I don't think I'll ever go to that price again. So I honestly believe this is where my price range is. And then the last one, number six, is 350 and above that you'll buy whatever you like, wherever you see you're quite happy to do that. And I, it doesn't matter whether you, I don't mean in your bank account, if you can, if you see something at 500 quid, you will save till you get it. So it's it's that answer as well. It's not somebody who has a lot of money in the bank and just goes out and pays whatever he likes. So if that's your limit is three 350 and above, please pick number six. So I think that's quite clear. Uh, I hope it's quite clear because I can complicate anything. Really looking forward to seeing your answers and hopefully by the beginning of next week I'll give you the overall answers to all the questions that I put to you and I, I, I hope you've, you'll enjoy it as much as I do. But again, thank you for the response. It's been amazing. Remember, put the number down. If you want to comment, fine, but make sure you put the number down so that when I'm collating it just takes me a couple of seconds to go 
a few minutes to go through and get all the numbers out and then I can collate the, the, the data. So there you go, quick video for today. Once again, thank you to all our health workers, care workers, those in the shops, bin men, anybody who's helping me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Take care, look after yourselves. Paddy's gone.